yeah. I'm going to show you guys a picture. So you know how in New Zealand uh, there were elections and the liberals, uh, which is their national party won. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they beat the labor. Okay, to celebrate because you know the national party's color is blue because they're boys, right? And the labor party is red because they're, they're commies. Yeah, commies. So the ex prime minister of the national party what is to that? celebrate the election vic- victory had. Blue sausages. Yuck. Mm. Yuck. And so folks... Jesus, Eiffel 65 didn't go that far. So folks are wondering if uh, they made a bad decision with electing them in. Have you... Well, because of the snags. I mean, look, man. They did the same. What I wanted to bring up is usually Mm. these sort of things are precursors. Does that mean the era of uh, Democrats and Labor is over? Does that nah. mean the conservatives are going to win here and in the U.S.? Not here. Because New Zealand is a precursor to what, I don't know, the general population thinks? Not here, U.S. I mean, probably. Labor got two terms, which I think is spectacular for the Labor Party in New Bro, Zealand. Bro, they won on law and order. Yeah. The nationals in, in New Zealand won on law and order. And I'm really worried about that. I think that the argument that you need to make, Queenslanders, to your relatives is... Look at the graph. Both youth crime and crime in general are consistently going down. They were not under the LNP, and all the LNP want to do is get rid of a bunch of proven successful programs. Right. That's what it. do you have to say to uh, all the comrades in New Zealand who've comrades. just lost? I don't know anything about them. I barely know New Zealand exists. Well, look, I think, <laughs> I think I, I, there was a few. All of us are like I'll that. give you like the three main election issues that they had. One was law and order which I guess uh, you've sort of discussed. The other was the whole... Uh, there was... Labor Party over there said that there was a massive disinformation campaign, which I mm, feel like is happening everywhere go. now. Yep. How do we deal with this disinformation... Yeah, uh, that's the question. ...epidemic? Make your own disinformation. <laughs> Fuck! That's Beat fire with fire? No. I think that's pretty much all you have to do. You just have to get down and dirty. But really? I, for an I will make the whole world blind. Yes, assalamu yeah. alaikum, brother. Assalamu this is alaikum. Gandhi. Yeah. But in the uh, world of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. <laughs> and one-eyed is a reference for somebody who is extremely biased. The job. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so all I'm saying, man, is, look, I think that this is the world that we live in now. And I think that you just have to, when you are arguing with people about Agenda 21 and all of that stuff. What's that? I don't know. Just whatever conspiracy weird R- right. theory they have in their head. I think you could just say, like, yeah, yeah, fuck them. But, like, uh, you know, the National Party's in on it too. They own the whole government. They're all corrupt, aren't they? <laughs> but do you want, like... A hospital that works. Yeah, I mean, a hospital that works can still work in this uh, dystopian global government prison planet. Yeah, they'll still have those. That's kind Just of like get. That's kind of like me and like labor. I'm kind of like I don't agree with a lot of what they say, but I just know that they're doing the right thing, so I vote for them. Yeah, I think that that's what you need to get out, yeah. and I also think that a lot of it has to do with the vibe of the leader. And I think that we're pretty safe with Anthony Albanese. I think that people generally like his vibe. Yeah. Jacinta went from being really popular to being really unpopular. Why? Before I think it was because she was a global celebrity. Yeah. Just because she, she became uh, Stephen Colbert tall every poppy. second night. Tall poppy. It was like the fill-in guest for him. Tall poppy? Tall poppy. And also she seemed it as well. She seemed like one of those kind of, you know... I'm better than you. Because I've got bigger teeth. <laughs> well, why am I better than you? Because my teeth suck. No, because bigger. They're, they're huge. Bigger, yeah, bigger. they're massive. They're bra- anyway, like, if are you're you are the Prime Minister, or are you advertising White Glow? So <laughs> so who is the new Prime Minister of New Zealand? Oh, dude, it's funny. He's the he's like this business guy. He's not the Maori guy. He's, no, he's not. He's oh. the ex-CEO of Air New Zealand. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. So he knows. Get things done. So there, Alan Joyce won point point. the elections. <laughs> What? What is he? Does he have any <laughs> credentials? No. Apparently, he joined politics in 2020, and in 2021, Fuck. they requested him to be the leader. There's five people there, bro. So yeah, 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 yeah. So he must be a huge so, celebrity. So, over so practically, there. is their Liberal Party going to be the same as ours here? Pretty much. Yeah, probably. Pretty so much. they're not more left. Uh, well, uh, no, 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 they no, also no. might have to be as well because it's a smaller population. I don't know. Yeah, and I think like usually, you know how in Australia the Liberal Party basically controls 
the government de facto, and then there's peers when labor gets in. I think it's the opposite over there where really? labor c- controls right. it de facto. Because even if you look at their huge election win now, they won 50 seats. Labor well, had 60 before, and they were considered to be like a weak government. Right. So yeah. clearly, I think labor usually wins. It. But if you're from New Zealand and, uh, you know, you give have Give us a some, brief rundown. Yeah, give us a brief rundown in the comment section. Tell us beyond the headlines what the real issues were. What's the inner working? And also, yeah, who is the de facto government? I thought it was the nationals. Yeah, I thought so. What? I don't know. Just looking at the numbers, I'm what, basing here? it on that. Huh? Here? No, no, no. In New, no, Zealand. In New Zealand. No, there's no way. They're Isn't it amazing? They're so parochial that their Liberal Party is the National Party. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know they had a they National didn't have, Party. They don't have a Liberal Party. Their Liberal Party is the National Party. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's a National... Like, there's some other National Equivalent Party, too. But their Liberal Party is called the National Party. And what are all these other ones? Like, New Zealand First... Ace yeah. Party, <laughs> Choice Party, Green Party, Chili Party, <laughs> Maori Liberation Party. There's party. some like, big word for it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I think we're out of time now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Do you want to play us out?